This is a Risk Queen Chronicle TV news update and I am Lauren Gray. In Egypt, Egyptian protesters defied a nighttime curfew in towns along the Suez Canal. Attacking police stations and ignoring emergency rule imposed by Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. The clashes have killed at least 52 people. In Washington, a bipartisan group of senators who have agreed on an immigration reform plan said that they hope to move quickly with legislation, giving 30 million illegal aliens a chance to eventually become American citizens. In an attempt to build support among lawmakers, the Senate proposal will couple immigration reform with enhanced security efforts aimed at preventing illegal immigration and ensuring that those foreigners here temporarily return home when their visas expire. In Connecticut, Mark Mattioli, whose six-year-old son James perished inside Sandy Hook Elementary School, appeared before a subcommittee of Connecticut legislature on Monday. He testified that a plethora of new gun laws isn't the answer, and that instead, personal responsibility, accountability, and civility are the best path forward. He received a standing ovation as he said that he believes in simple few gun laws, and that there are already more than enough on the books. Mattioli contends that the problem is not gun laws and that these regulations simply need to be enforced. In Detroit, 56-year-old great-grandmother from Clinton Township, Chicago, Ramona Taylor Kamate, defends herself by firing 11 times at a thug. She has a permit to carry a gun, and when she was attacked on a city bus, she used it. The attacker struck Ramona and took her purse. People started yelling that the attacker had a gun. The attacker faced Ramona and she took out her gun and fired 11 times. She defended herself and saved her life. Log on to richlandchronicle.com for the latest news and updates. There, you will be able to find our links to Facebook and Twitter. From Richland Chronicle Outlets, this has been a Chronicle TV news update, and I am Lauren Gray.